guys and welcome back to the Bristol Prepper channel. Today we're doing a uh, forgotten and overlooked preps part two because the uh, first time I did it it was pretty popular and some guys were asking me some other different bits and pieces about uh, is there anything else and stuff like that so I thought I'd just do another video uh, with some other things I could think of. Um, but before we get into all that, uh, some of you guys might be wondering about the competition. Um, it's ending on the Friday the 13th of this month which is the Friday coming. So Friday the 13th of March. Uh, it's ending and that's when I'll do the video of picking your names at the hat and choosing one of you lucky winners And if you do want to be involved in that and not yet um, Go back and go to my channel go on my videos and look for my giveaway video um, Go on that video watch it go down comment like subscribe and then you'll be in for a chance Leave any comment beneath like the rest of the guys have and you'll be in for a chance to win So um, and this is what you'd win um, I have finished it now for you guys that were wondering where it is. I have finished it now this is the uh, survival tin. Um, I made it myself. Uh, obviously, bought the tin, bought the tin, and, that, and all the ingredients inside of the tin I've uh, put together myself. It's my first crack at a survival tin, so if it ain't perfect, the whoever wins it, um, obviously it's my first crack at it. But um, it wasn't cheap. I didn't do it on the cheap or nothing. It was all good spec gear in there. It's not no cheap crap. Um, obviously, it's wrapped power cord and that. Got some uh, electric tape around the edge and that. Just keep it watertight and sealed. Um, go in the EDC pack, um, your bug out bag, just tucked in your pocket, anything like that. So that's that guys. Um, so if you're not in for a chance to win that, and if you are a new subscriber, because I've got quite a new subscriber, a lot of you, uh, new ones coming in. If you don't know what I'm about, it, I said we're Br I'm Bristol Prepper. Um, we do a lot of reviews and stuff on here and that, and uh, if you're not already subscribed, subscribe to me and we'll uh, like I answer questions, anything like that guys. I've got a lot of bunch of videos going on. Um, so yeah. Anyway guys, let's get into the video. So, today like I said we're doing uh, Overlooks and Forgotten Preps, um, part 2. And we're going to start from left to right, because we bought quite a bit more than we did last time. So, uh, one of the first things I did touch upon on the first one, but I thought I'd talk about some more, is um, on the left. This is uh, alcohol. I bought my one of my best friends, one of my good, good, good friends, Jack Daniel. Um, so I brought him to the table, uh, just because it was my first one a choice up on the side but um, any sort of alcohol is great great to prep um, this is my everyday use when I use for just having a drink or whatever but um, keep it don't drink it I know it's hard but keep it and don't drink it it's so good to keep alcohol because um, you can trade it uh, everybody will want drink in an SHTS situation people are still gonna want their uh, their nice it is and their 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 luxuries uh, even in the Great down situation or shit hit the fan, zombie apocalypse, whatever you're prepping for, people are gonna still love that shit. So it's great to prep that action, you can trade that, drink it yourself, get pissed up, have a party, you know, all that good stuff. Um, so that's that. Then we move along, as you can see here, we've got a survival shovel, um, SAS shovel, multi use shovel, whatever you're calling it. Uh, the camera can see this, so I'll pop that out for you. This is a shovel, so you lucky bends up on that, so you can fit that nicely in a pack. It's a bit dirty, I haven't cleaned it yet. I have recently used it. Um, has got a saw on one side. These are great just for digging anything. Um, digging uh, uh, Dakota fire pits. Uh, just, I don't know, shithole. You need, you need shit. Everybody needs a shit. So if you need shit, digging a hole and you shit in it. So they're, they're great for that, better than digging with your hands. So, um, but they're, yeah, it's just one of those things, it's nice to have. It, it's not a necessity, but it's just great to have. If you, if you need shit, like I said, or you've got to dig a Dakota fire pit, or the dog's died, you've got to bury that son of a bitch in the back garden. Anything like that, they're great to have one of those. So, uh, and they're cheap as well, you can get them on Amazon for around about 10 pounds. Um, I think I've got a little bit cheaper than that from Go Outdoors, but you can get them around that sort of price, they're quite good. Um, so yeah, that's the survival shovel, SAL shovel, whatever you're calling it. Um, and back here, so, and now I see you bushcrafters going, oh, this is uh, like fire starters. I've got a fire starting log here, you just like this bag and the whole thing goes up and it's really quick to use, fire starting blocks. Um, I am big on my bushcraft and I love my bushcraft gear and uh, doing it all primitive and I, I don't, do you know what I mean, I love practicing that sort of sort of stuff, like lighting fires without nothing uh, or using a ferrocene rod, whatever we're doing, I love bushcraft and stuff like that but at the end of the day, in SHTS situation, it's great to have something like this, 
if it's just a light fire, easy, real quick, simple, easy, chuck it on, you ain't got to mess about. Um, so it's just it, one of those nice things to have uh, just for simplicity and just the speed of it. Uh, instead of getting all tinder together and all that bullshit, getting all the stuff together, get I don't know, setting up a, uh, a boot drill set, anything like that. It's just quicker and simple, e easier option. So, and they're really small as well. You can get loads of these boxes real cheap on the internet or uh, in your local B&Q or DOI store or anything like that. You can pick them up real cheap and lots of them. So yeah, that's those two. Uh, move along. We got coffee or tea. I'm not sure which one is going to uh, Coffee. So, uh, tea and coffee, guys. Uh, you guys in America obviously don't drink tea because you're weird, but I live in Bristol, obviously, some Bristol prepper, but Bristol, we love the tea. Everybody loves the tea. Drink the tea, drink that shit all day long. So, um, and obviously tea and coffee, but these are great just to, because all you've got to do with this is add boiling water, it's all got milk in there, it's all got sugar in there, three in one, so all you got to do is add the water. And you can't, can't get up in the morning and have a cup of tea. Even as SHTF, I need a cup of tea to get going, do you know what I mean? That shit ain't going nowhere, I'm just not getting out of bed for nothing. So, great to have that, um, they're small on that, you can pack loads of them, they've got a long lasting date on them, they're great as well, if you're going out uh, camping or practicing a bit of bushcraft, just chuck like, a couple of sachets in your bag, they're tiny, and uh, then you can have a nice little brew on the go. Um, so that's that, uh, and they're really, really cheap, I think that was a uh, 90 pence or a pound, some shit like that. Um, next one looking at here, is the bag at the front. I'll just pop this out for you. These are uh, uh, quite expensive binoculars. You don't have to have a set like this. You can have a cheaper set or a cheaper set just to let you see farther than your eyes will let you. But this is quite an expensive set. Um, I did half hinge these, uh, borrow them, long lease, long term lease. Uh, long term as in never given back off my dad. So, uh, <laughs> but no, these are uh, quite good ones. You can see for a long, long way with these. Uh, hunting um, or an SHTF, you want to see anybody coming down your street or raiders and anything like that. Just seeing long distance is a great, great, great thing to prep and have. Everybody should have a set of these um, just for the the options they give you. You'll be able to see a long distance, uh, see what people look like from a long distance away. If you're hunting, seeing game, uh, anything like that. So these are great, great uh, things to have. And uh, they're relatively cheap. You can get. Um, a cheapo pair for around about twenty pounds, um, and then obviously you can spend anywhere, then upwards. You can spend. I've seen people spend thousands on binoculars. Um, don't know why, but you can. So that's that lot. Uh, next thing is um, just a couple of things on hygiene. Um, these are really really cheap. Um, just disinfectant. Uh, these are great for um, an SHTF situation. You, the hygiene is going to be massive because you don't want to get trench for. Uh, if you're walking a lot um, or anything like that, any disease you can get, it's going to be heightened in SHTF because you haven't got running water, the, the, the shitter is not working, the toilet ain't working, the bathroom, whatever you call it, in what country, the bathroom ain't working. So it's really important uh, use different cuts, anything like that, uh, disinfecting sides or the ground, the floor, in your house, um, anything like that. And then a shot, uh, small hand gel cream, um, you can put it in your bug out bag or anything like that. Just, it's great to stay sanitary and make sure you don't get any sort of shitty disease right out on the go. So that's that. Uh, and they're relatively, relatively cheap. I think that was a pound for two, I think. Um, and like I said, they're, they stand on their own. You can fit loads of those in a small, co compact box. Um, and one of the last things we're going to look at on this side. Lots of people overlook this and forget them. Um, this is just a camping stove, a portable camping stove with some gas. Um, I do have lots and lots and lots of gas. Just fucking too much, I think. I have so much gas, it's unreal. Um, but very good thing, because if you're in an apartment or in your house even, and you want to, some way to cook in an SHTF situation, in a grid down situation, it's your gas. Uh, cooker's not going to work, your electric uh, cooker's not going to work, so you want some way of cooking, um, and personally, I don't want to be setting some fire in my back garden, uh, firstly, in case I, uh, something goes wrong, and fucking set some shit on fire, and because then you got, it's a signal fire, you got people be able to see where you are, and smoke, they'll come to you, you don't want that shit, so, could you uh, cook in the house, 
well ventilated because you always have die of carbon monoxide poisoning. So make sure you got a crack a window, bitch. Crack that window. Um, but yeah, so you can cook this in your house uh, or in the back garden or anything, anything like that on your balcony or wherever you live. But it's a great, great food. In SHTS, you can boil water, uh, cook all your food on there. And on this one, it's a bigger sort of one. Um, so I can cook for the entire family with some sort of stew on here. The gas bottles last a heck of a long time. Um, I've known one of these to last a week long camping trip. Just one gas bottle. I wasn't using it a hell of a lot, but I have known it to last that long. Um, so yeah, and they last a long time. You can get these real cheap. Two of these uh, eight bottles in like this packaging like this is a tenner. So and I expect you can get them cheaper online. Um, and this was about fifth. Dean Payne, something like that, uh, just for the cooker itself. So it's real cheap and great to have because you want some way of cooking and uh, sterilizing your water if you're getting it from a stream, boiling that shit up. Um, it's, you, you, it's a real good option um, and it, it's real quick as well because you, you ain't got to mess around with making a fire or anything like that. So if you've got the space, it's a great option because I know it's quite big and bulky, but uh, a great option if you've got the space to get one of these. Um, because, yeah, like I said, it's so quick and easy, and uh, you're able to cook your food right up without no wait times. So that's it, guys, for what I've got on the table today. Um, if you've got any questions about anything I've got on the table, or you think you know something I forgot, or if it's something that you think people don't prep, and they, they say I've forgotten prep, leave that stuff down below. Leave it all down below. Uh, comments, like, subscribe, and hit that subscribe button. Smash it real hard. And then we'll get uh, some more subscribers on my channel. Uh, um, so yeah, guys. So thanks for watching. Um, so yeah, if competition, before I forget, make sure you get in that competition. Obviously, you can't win. You've got to be in it to win it, guys. So if you want to be in it, it's going to end on Friday the 13th of March, which is Friday coming. Um, so yeah, like I said, go on my giveaway video, which is on my channel. Go on it, like, subscribe, comment, and then you'll be in a chance to win. And you'll win. And if you win, you'll win. you get me cool survival tin. Everybody wants the soil tin. Anyway, I'm ranting on. So, anyway, guys, stay prepared, and I'll see you guys another day, another way.